starting to fill the chamber. That's the demonstration booth there. This stuff works amazing. Uh, imagine a burglar getting inside your house and then suddenly, along with flashing strobe lights and sirens, the entire room fills up with a fog where they can't see their own hand in front of them. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, that, you know, uh, and then it gives the cops the time to get there because, uh, you know, sometimes it takes the police a few uh, few minutes to get there. And these guys uh, scamper out, or they might not even be able to find their way out. Yeah, I mean, they, they're going to bail. If they can, they're going to bail, and that's the point of this. This is a completely non-lethal, non-injury-related uh, uh, anti-theft device. Anti-theft. Meaning to you, know, you can't take you can't take it, you can't find it. Yeah. You know, one of the other things I like is the electronically tinted glass. I mean, uh, the government has had that for a long time, you know, Homeland Security and places like that, uh, where they uh, tint their windows quickly. So is this the same thing, basically? It is, it is. And this is, uh, you know, we've had this for higher end estate homes for a while, but the price every year just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. My suspicion is that within the next 10 years, it's going to be an absolutely common element when you go to the window store and you're buying your windows that uh, they look at you and say, would you like these electronically tinted? Uh, because right now, you can order windows that way. You can also order film, like, uh, you know, uh, tinting mm -hmm. that you would do to your car after market. You can order film for your existing windows that will do this, and it's all app-controlled. So literally, your windows can go from perfectly clear to uh, uh, some form of frosted and completely wow. opaque privacy glass at the touch of a button. Can you tell us how that works in non in, in you know uh, layman's terms? Yeah, uh, well, in layman's terms, we all know like LCD crystals on like your calculator, what make the numbers on your calculator. Yeah. As I understand, it's a form of LCD crystal technology in which uh, when they run a current through this film, the crystals line up in the in such a way that uh, that it suddenly goes. So imagine the numbers on your little calculator. Mm -hmm. uh, every one of those numbers where it gets dark, that's this technology. Oh, wow. Okay? That's a clear film that all of a sudden goes dark in places because of a very tiny little... And it is a tiny current. Like on your calculator, mm -hmm. you probably have a, a tiny little solar panel and that's all that runs the whole thing. So yeah, it's a form of LCD technology where they turn and align in a, in a certain direction and it simply turns the glass opaque. So you're going to really have to have uh, people uh, who are real specialists in this because if a baseball or a rock goes through one of these uh, windows, uh, you have to have somebody who knows what's going on bring a window out and put it in. Yeah, bring, bring new glass and or bring replacement film. But I have to say, though, uh, what's interesting about this that, that they're actually pushing as a secondary benefit is the fact that a window that has film on it like this is a safer window. You're talking about impact. It's very mm -hmm. much like uh, turning it into our car windshield. You've seen car windshields get busted and glass doesn't go flying everywhere and that's because the glass on your car windshield has two layers of glass and sandwiched in between it is a film that holds it all together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tinting your windows in this way actually makes it safer for you when the baseball hits the window. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I've seen it years ago. I did a story on it uh, when I was a reporter, and this was over 22 years ago, where you could put film on your glass uh, in your car and fire a 38 at it, and it would not go through. Yes, it? oh yeah. yeah. Amazing. And that, that is available also uh, if you're interested in that, if you're trying to create, again, on the security side of things for homes, we can bulletproof uh, most uh, home windows if it's requested. Wow. Uh, and one last thing, what about this, I like this, high-tech pet remote app pet door. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where uh, when, when you first look at it, you're like, oh, really? Really? Yet another thing? But uh, honestly, <laughs> yeah. it has, when you when you think about integrating this into the rest of, uh, of of a smart home, it makes sense. And this is simply a pet door that opens and closes automatically for your pet, but for no one else. And you also can control it via an app when you're not at home. Uh, and uh, and it makes sense. And the the part that I like most about it is not so much the control of the door from your app when you're not at home. But let's say you're away on vacation, you're just kind of trying to keep track of what's going on at home. It will alert you every time it activates. So in other words, you know when Fido is going in and out if 
Fido has gone in and out. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what I love most about it is that uh, a door like this used to be vulnerable to other animals coming by because they used to be on motion sensor. Now they activate uh, via a chip in your pet's collar. So only they wow. basically have the door pass for this door. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, <laughs> Dean Sharp, I'm sure you'll be talking uh, more about this this weekend on Saturday from 6 to 8 and on Sunday from 9, 11, uh, 9 to 11. And then at home with Dean, that's where we find you on social. Am I correct? You're correct, sir. All right, Dean, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Very interesting stuff. You bring, uh, uh, you, you know, you bring to light a lot of interesting things. And I just have to tell you, the, the thing I, I like the most uh, out of everything here is that amazing um, evolved stone. Then, will you nail on those stone-looking panels? It's it just, it, it's mind-boggling what's going on out there now. It really is. Every year, uh, it just changes more and more and more. Thanks, right. Chris. Yeah, thank you, Dean. Talk to you later. Okay, uh, let's take a look at your drive. It looks like we've got um, a problem on a 91 in Corona. It's westbound at McKinley Street. Crash here blocks the two right lanes. Multiple vehicles and injuries reported. You're stopped from Van Buren Boulevard. Crash working in Pasadena, the 210 westbound at North Orange Grove Boulevard. Everything there in the center divider. And in Mission Hills, the 118 westbound at the 405. Look out for a crash there in the center divider as well. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Joseph. Michael Smith here from Service Champions Plumbing, TV, and AC. Have you ever had a plumber to your house to fix something and felt totally vulnerable when they gave you an estimate? Is it a fair price? Is the estimate even for the right thing? I mean, really, how would you even know? Have you ever gotten an estimate only to find out later that it didn't include everything, so you end up paying more than you thought? It's frustrating. So if you ask me, it's totally unacceptable. When you call Service Champions for a plumbing problem, I'll make you a promise. Our technician will diagnose the problem right the first time, and the estimate you get is going to be the final price you pay, period. No guessing, no surprises, no funny business. It's just a guaranteed price up front in writing. For clogged drains or any funny problems, call Service Champions at 833-777-7777 or at servicechampions.com. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm on Junk Your Sleep during the President's Day sale at Mattress Firm. Shop now and get a king bed for a queen price, plus a free adjustable base with purchase. Don't miss hot thighs like beds starting at just $159.99, plus temper pedic savings. Colin Gower, here's what's trending for My Heart Sports Network, presented by Mercedes-Benz. Andrew Whitworth was named the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year. The Rams lineman was recognized for community service off the field. NBA deadline day ended with a blockbuster trade. The Nets are sending James Harden to the 76ers for a package around Ben Simmons. And Sean Michael scored of a podium finish in his final Olympics. The three-time gold medalist kicked off his legendary career, finishing fourth in the mid half time. I'm Misty Jordan. They say good things come to those who wait. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz SUV family proved otherwise. It takes no time at all. Set up a test drive at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Learn more at MBUSA.com. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. or any kind of real estate. This is hard to admit, but when I was in junior high school, I was bullied so badly, I cried. Hello, I'm John McClain, owner of Ruder Hero Plumbing. I was named Ogamas after my grandfather, but as a kid, I was teased for having that name, so I changed it to John. John is the English version of Ogamas, and it maintains the honor to my grandfather. My family and heritage are important to me, so staying true to myself oh, and Jesus, Ruder Hero Plumbing are important. Staying true to Ruder Hero Plumbing means being true to you and delivering world-class service. That's why my cell phone number is on the back of every Ruder Hero Plumbing business card. Call us at 866-377 and we'll cable your line for $77. 
That's 866-STRANGE-77. Thank you. At Ralph, fresh groceries are our thing. So we check your delivery order for freshness at every step from farm to store. And pick and pack every veggie in your free pickup order with care. Because we treat your food the way we want ours to be treated. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Ralph, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions stay apply. Get more ways to save at the buy five or more. Save $1 each sale. Just buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with card. Ralph, fresh for everyone. We are all stewards of the next generation. But in the U.S., there are over 100,000 boys and girls who are victims of human sex trafficking. It's time to stand up and join the fight as a community to stamp out the exploitation and trafficking of our most vulnerable. Join the fight against human trafficking. To learn more, visit USIAHC.org. Portions of the following program will be recorded. I went to a Chinese restaurant and it said on the sign, you must show your proof of vaccination. Didn't even have. I have not been there. Yeah. I haven't either. If I was a restaurateur, I would make it very clear. Bill Handel. You're not vaccinated, I'll let you in, but it's going to be left over. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. <laughs> Radio app. Jennifer Jones Lee is out. She'll be back Monday. I'm Chris Little in for Jennifer. Um, you know, I've never considered this until now. My short-term rental host could be spying on me. Uh, that's what a guy in Texas is accused of doing, uh, as he allegedly created a collection of adult videos. ABC's Jim Ryan is following this one. Hey, Jim, what's going on in Central Texas? Yeah, Chris, it, it doesn't look as though he was distributing these in any way, at least not that we know, but he had 2,100 images. Many of them showing images of his guests at his rental property in various stages of undress, in a couple of cases having sex. This was a, a cabin that he was renting. He had an extremely high ranking on both VRBO and on Airbnb. Airbnb, he was a super host, and on uh, VRBO, he was a premier host. And, you know, the top ranking of, uh, of those hosts. And so, you know, obviously he's been yanked off of both of those, um, those um, rental sites, short-term rental sites, as this criminal case unfolds against him. There are 17 plaintiffs now who are filing a lawsuit against him. He also is, is facing uh, criminal charges that could land him in jail, Chris. You know, it started uh, with one person uh, talking to this guy, and uh, they said he was just a little... I don't know, weird. Uh, they said that uh, uh, this guy, I told the man and another female guest that um, they need to watch the sunrise on the porch. And he said, as he put it, be comfortable. We don't care if you're in your PJs or nude. Yeah. And um, so, and you know, he stressed that the doors aren't locked and that kind of stuff. And it just kind of weirded the guy out. So uh, he, he looked up on Google how to find um, hidden cameras. And he found him, and that's how this whole thing started, with one person. Yeah, one person, this couple from the Midwest, we don't know where they're from, don't know who they are, but uh, this one couple, and so he pulls out his cell phone, he turns on the flashlight, and he starts looking around. There was this AC adapter on the wall there in the bedroom mm -hmm. that was connected to, ostensibly to a router, but he, there was a little port or a window there, and he shined his flashlight into it and saw that there was a lens inside there. And his wife immediately grabbed their stuff. They got out of there. Uh, they went to the police. They, they filed this complaint. And uh, now the, the search has uh, uh, turned up more than 2,000 different images that were taken from that. And, and you're right. I mean, Chris, it sort of begs the question, what if somebody else is doing this? Mm -hmm. I went through and I looked at some of these hidden camera uh, things. I mean, there's a uh, clock radio that looks like a clock radio, a flash drive that looks like a flash drive. Um, the the Wi-Fi USB wall charger, which I think is the one that this man was using down in, in uh, Central Texas, and they all uh, are being sold ostensibly as nanny camps to keep an eye on, you know, the babysitter who's watching your kids. But uh, at least in this case, in down in the hill country, it was being used for something much more sinister than that. Well, so how, what's the word on protecting yourself from this? I mean, this this really this case is odd because the guy's a super host. Yeah, and so he, this is the guy that everybody loves because he goes over the top, 
in every way, and now he's gone off the rails, but how do you protect yourself? Well, they're certainly taking a close look around the room when you first get there. Look for any, like, out-of-place chargers. One up on the wall? Why would be a charger up on the wall or be, be this uh, sort of um, adapter for a Wi-Fi that's not in, anywhere near the Wi-Fi? Uh, look around for things like that. And if you see a little window, if you shine your flashlight into it, I'm told, that if you see a blue glow or see a blue reflection, that's going to be a, a camera lens, a glass camera lens that reflects blue like that. Uh -huh. So that's one tip off. Um, but certainly this guy, uh, he was sending text to the guests and saying, yeah, sit out on the porch and put it. It's fine with me. I think they were skeeved out a little bit uh, to begin yeah. with. There's also a device I'm looking at here. Uh, right alongside a, an ad for a, a high-definition a high uh, dummy smoke detector with infrared night vision camera inside. And it looks like a, it looks like a smoke wow. detector. Wow, you would never know. No, but right next to that, and I guess, by the way, that sells for $174 online. Right next to it is something called the hidden camera and bug detector for $169. $469? $169. Oh, They're almost identical in price. Does it? Does this work? I don't know, but we do know that this, you know, the camera in the smoke detector works. Yeah, it's, um, it, you know, technology has really made things uh, crazy. And, you know, uh, I, I guess the question is also, how do you know if you're running from a pervert? I guess you don't. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you can't, it's just so odd. You can't trust anyone. And, um, but, you know, we let our guard down because we spent so many years, you know, going to hotels. And, and, and you know, not thinking of that, and now we're going to Airbnb and VR, uh, BO and having to worry about this thing. Sure, well, I, and even hotel. You know, I, I stay in a lot of hotels uh, all around the world, and you know, I start looking around and thinking, what is that over there? And never, I, I, I never have found a camera like that, but mm -hmm. certainly, yeah, I try to take a look around when I first get there and just see if there's something weird or something out of place or. A, uh, some sort of device that seems like it shouldn't be there and has a little port or a window on it. So take a look around here, both at hotel rooms and at the short term rentals. Do you have a bug detector? I do not. I don't even know if it works. <laughs> you know, I'm a little suspicious of the bug detector. Well, you know, I, the way I feel, and I haven't even told my wife, if someone wants to spy on me, go ahead. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people don't like it. It creeps them out, but I'm like, yeah. You know, what, what's that going to do from, you know, to me? Well, it's a violation of your privacy. And if you're in a bed, for heaven's sake. Yeah, I guess. All right, well. By the way, by the way, the, the policy at that uh, Airbnb says, yeah, the owner of the property can put cameras in their place. No problem. But they're not supposed to be in private areas like the bedroom or the bathroom. They can be out in common areas, and they have to be easily identifiable and they can't be you know something made to look like a smoke detector or a or a clock radio it has to be visible and it has to be what it is a camera there in plain sight uh, you know you can understand how if you're running your property somebody you want to protect it but uh if the rules also are clear nothing in the bedroom nothing in the bathroom okay well that makes sense you schooled me okay i i will protect my privacy as well <laughs> i'm gonna get a bug detector i'll let you know if it works I'd like to find out, yeah. Well, so that means you're going to have to go to a place that has a problem. Well, I guess you could try it at home. Yeah. Yeah. Try it there first. All right. All right. Uh, Jim Ryan, ABC News. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll talk sure. to you soon. All right. This is KFI and KOSC HD2 Los Angeles. Uh, let's go out and uh, see what's happening on the freeway. You betcha. Thanks, Chris. Good morning. Get right to business here. San Fernando Valley, westbound 118, right around the 405. I heard Dave trying to warn you about this. It'll be coming through right now. Just be careful. It's a problem over to the shoulder. Not a big deal. Now 405 itself is okay. Forward moving down to 134. Around the Rose Bowl, around the east or west 134 at the 210. Might be a problem in the tunnel. I'll check that out for you. Coming the other way into Pasadena, what's uh, 210 around Sierra Madre? A ladder bouncing around. We joke about that, but it could be dangerous, so be careful. And finally, Corona, what's 91 before the 15? A bag right there. Back up Van Buren. I'll check them all for you. Don't go away. Jeff Barr, KFI in the sky. Joining us today, Scott Painter, CEO and co-founder of Autonomy. It's a new company. It's right here in L.A. that offers car subscriptions. And Scott, why is subscription a thing that is going to be the next way for people to get into this market? The whole idea behind a subscription was being able to simplify the transaction and make it easier for the customer. You don't have to go into all of the offline paperwork, signing things in triplicate. Everything that's happening on your phone, you're in control of the entire transaction. You can sign up and get the thing in 10 minutes. 
and all you need to be able to get a subscription is a valid driver's license and a digital form of payment. So you can put this entire thing on your credit card. You don't have to go out and apply for debt and get approved and weighed and measured and all of that. Buying a car also seems so cumbersome when you think about all that goes into it. This seems to be a super easy way to get you into this Tesla Model 3. What you're saying is that buying a car is a high friction experience for most people. This is the only way to truly get a car in a pretty digital way. Well, thank you on behalf of all people like me who want a Tesla but want to do it cheap and easy. <laughs> I'm excited about it. The secret to staying on track with your goals? Hello Fresh. Their delicious recipes and doorstep delivery take the hassle out of mealtime. And their fit and wholesome plan makes eating well easier than ever. With Hello Fresh, uh, you can take your first 50 menu and market items to you. And you can also your box by swapping in top and food and food. because the Super Bowl's in L.A.? Is it because of the potential Cinderella story of the Cincinnati Bengals? Or is it a combination of any or all of the above? Or the below, however it is. No. Oh, so why are you so excited about it? Well, or yes. I don't even know. I don't even know why okay. I'm excited. Uh, uh, Chris, good morning. Good morning. Maybe you're not excited about the Super Bowl. Maybe you're just generically excited about life. Oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Why? You need to watch the documentary Happy. Oh, I haven't seen that. All right, anyways, good morning. This is uh, your last day here, Elian, for Jennifer. She comes back on Monday. And yes, you go back to being a uh, news director. So you've been <laughs> both the last few days. Yes, it, yes, mm -hmm. I have, have been. Yeah, it's a little busy. Uh, yeah, trying to hire somebody, trying to hire an editor and do this. How many editors work for $2 under minimum wage? Um, uh, exactly. Most of them, yes. Uh, what do you want? Five, if you want the exact number. Well, yeah. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, Alex, good morning. Morning. And, um, Tyler, good morning. Good morning, Bill. All right. Uh, we've got a lot and lots. And, uh, let's start with a handle on the news, uh, with, uh, Chris Little. Last day today, before Jen comes back on Monday. Wayne, Resnick, and me. Oi, sorry. Well, yesterday we talked uh, about uh, the fire in uh, Newport Beach. And a actually, as uh, close as it was to uh, burning up buildings, because it was right next to homes, uh, it did okay. You know, firefighters went crazy on this. Uh, they the, the air uh, the aircraft that was brought in the number of firefighters number of engines and while that happened there was a little tiny brush fire in Whittier that destroyed two homes and damaged one and we're talking what four acres mm -hmm. in Whittier so uh, you just never know you never know which way a fire is going to go again hot 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 dry 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 
uh, in the middle of February. Yeah, and sometimes and you get caught wind, up. Wind, wind. Yeah, and sometimes you get caught off guard. And uh, the houses go up quickly, depending on, you know, how close the fire is uh, when it started. We did have, um, uh, as you said earlier, in uh, Laguna Beach, Newport Beach, Laguna Beach area, evacuation orders uh, yesterday afternoon after that fire erupted. And as you recall, we were keeping an eye on it on on TV, it looked bad for a while. Oh yeah, it did. So they were looking at it. Oh, the, the fire was right there. Yeah, they got out there quickly. The air tankers responded, four of them. And uh, right now, and this is this is the number that they gave last night and hasn't changed yet until the update here within maybe the next few minutes. Twenty percent uh, surrounded, which means they built a line around it. it. Doesn't mean flames are still burning, but. They haven't surrounded it yet. Hey, here's a question, Mr. Newsman. What? Uh, and that is, you talk about uh, fires destroying homes, but always the greatest number is structures. Uh, and I always think of structures as either those sheds that you buy uh, at Lowe's when mm -hmm. you walk out the door, uh, or outhouses. Uh, what, what do they mean by, that's what I said, there was a little boom there, yeah. uh, you, in Laguna Beach, that's the $12 million home. Uh, Chris, what are structures? Well, structures are anything that is built. And so, so they talk about outbuildings, they call them, like those sheds you're talking about. Uh, they talk about uh, somebody who has a ranch, uh, so it could be a barn, you know, that kind of stuff, or a house. So they say structures, what we like to say is buildings. Because most people don't say structure. I mean, you know, I've always wondered that. It really is a mindset. I literally think of outhouses as structure. Uh, so do I. But would a shed, what, is a shed a building, like a little shed that's big enough to put your lawnmower that's in right. it? Is that the word shed? Is that, are we going to call those buildings? Yeah, those are buildings. Oh. Uh, what about a dollhouse? A dollhouse? <laughs> well, it would be a very small building, or we should say a dollhouse. So, like, five homes <laughs> and a dollhouse. Three uh, uh, houses. Uh, three houses? 15 tree houses, two homes, and a dollhouse. Okay. Just wondering. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, mask mandates are going away around the country, and even in uh, California at the state level, they're going to get rid of the mask mandate next week, and a lot of counties will follow the state in that regard, but L.A. County will keep the indoor mask mandate around a little longer. If you're wondering when, there is a clear answer. When uh, hospitalizations remain below 2,500 for two straight weeks, and also when the new cases per 100,000 people rate fall 250 or below, that is the next of the And we are below that 2,500. Yes, but we got to maintain it for the next oh. And we'll see. It okay. looks like it is uh, dropping here in our county. The third is region. Uh, Northeast, first time, and they're the first ones to uh, drop uh, to the point where you can know, say it was a significant drop. Same thing in the South. Interesting. Uh, in the South, where there is just a no mask mandate, it's dropping the same as other parts of the country, which is a very good argument for those that are anti mask. Well, Another thing uh, about the mask here uh, is, and I would also argue vaccination. Uh, is, I don't think there is any back-to-back uh, back county in the country uh, that can be a federal county. It's all going on in the county. And no one's ever heard of it. It's all in the county. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
car you're looking to get rid of, whether it's old or ancient, Cars for Kids will take your car in any condition. They have over 100 cars ready to pick your car up and fast. That's why hundreds of thousands of people get stolen their cars and donated to them instead. And their star service has earned them an average 4.9 star rating in the process. Try it yourself. Call 877 Cars for Kids or go to carsforkids.com. It don't just say it's convenient. It is convenient. Donate today. 877 Cars for Kids. Remember, that's cars with a K. PMG is giving local football fans a chance to meet LA Chargers Austin Eckler and Derwin Jones and win copies of the Super Bowl experience in the LA Convention Center. Now through Saturday, stop by to take your side of the old 540 yard dash, high water dump tank, and more. Chance to win tickets to Super Bowl 57 from the Tide Washing Machine. Barbara Carrera is estimated that we will not use the indoor masking mandate probably until the end of April. April? Yes. This is abuse of power. Get out of our lives! Honestly, this has got to stop. We're living in some kind of nightmare world here. Holy mackerel. It's not intense. We gave it too. Nobody challenges her. That whole department ought to be investigated on KMI. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. Bill Handel and uh, the Morning Crew Friday, February 11th. And uh, it was cold, actually, this morning. Much colder than yesterday. And aren't we building up the heat? Chris? Yes. Yes, 80s and 90s. That's today. And why is it? And you're the our meteorological yeah, expert. Yeah. I'm gonna put on my hat. Yeah. And uh, why? Here we go. Why is it? I feel like Jerry Seinfeld. Why is it that uh, we're in the middle of the heat wave, except uh, it got colder this morning than yesterday by a long shot? You know. You, you don't know. Okay. Uh, you got me, Bill. Okay. Well, there you are. You know, how'd you do? Yeah, I don't think you did very well in college getting a degree in uh, meteorology. No, I did okay. Uh, I just yeah. decided not to get you one. You know that there is uh, no such thing as a meteorologist uh, legally. There's no licensing. There's no, I don't think you graduate in meteorology. Uh, it's, uh, you know, like uh, Mark Thompson will tell you that. Now, he's a meteorologist because he had all these classes. I guess, uh, you know, like, what? I, I guess you can graduate in meteorology, but there's no license whatsoever. Okay, well, I thought I'd move that. Let's, why don't we move on and get some real news? Yes, the Department of Homeland Security is uh, warning us that uh, we could have a freedom convoy or trucker protest around the Super Bowl and the State of the Union. I'm not so worried about the State of the Union, but the Super Bowl would be problematic since that's in our uh, backyard. And it's all these protesters that started in Canada, uh, most of the truckers up there are vaccinated. Uh, they're PO'd because of all of the COVID restrictions in Canada. So uh, they've been blocking a bridge uh, between Detroit and um, uh, Windsor, right? Windsor, yeah, yeah, right across. Yeah, and it's been slowing down manufacturing, you know, in, in, in car, you know, cars and stuff. And they're talking about doing it um, in copycat stuff here in Southern California and in Europe. So it could be a big problem. And they're not, it's not just a convoy where they're driving down the road together, honking their horns. It's uh, it's a it's a gathering. Yeah, and you can also keep in mind uh, that we need exactly four or five trucks to completely block a bridge and stop all traffic. And when you have a bridge right from Detroit to Windsor, uh, I think it's a huge bridge anywhere here. that wipes out the traffic, the commercial delivery of uh, goods both back and forth. And Red Street bonus. And they're using trucks and Farming equipment. I ask the same question all the time. Why the uproar about this vaccination versus all the other ones? That's all. And the answer is it really easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this possibly for the last time. This is an Olympic spoiler alert, you baby. Got it? Spoiler alert. Shots, <laughs> Chris, tell me why we all knuckled under to this idea that we have to call somebody's idiosyncratic problem with wanting to know the results of a thing, but not wanting to know it until they decide they want to know it. Despite the fact that it's being reported all over the world, yes. 
that, 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 that thing has to pay us to social work. That's the, the biggest problem of all is social work. And so they're often, 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 they're